Hello, K9SUL here. Today I'm going to show you uh, one thing I did for the KM3KM Mercury 3 um, linear amplifier. This is an excellent linear amplifier. Very popular, um, long wait time, unfortunately. I got it about two years ago. Um, one thing uh, it's lacking, in my opinion, is a computer interface to do uh, remote operation, remote band changing and stuff like that. So um, I just added my own controller between the onboard Arduino Nano controller and the next gen uh, display, the intelligent display unit. So I can um, intercept all the commands going back and forth and emulate some of the commands and display updates. Um, and it has a USB serial port, which I can use to display information and uh, issue commands to remotely control the amplifier. So let me turn it on. I mean, even with the controller in between um, uh, the internal component, I can um, use the amplifier, control the amplifier just fine as if there is nothing in between. Um, everything works as is. Um, but this thing I uh, figured out the baud rates and uh, what kind of commands are being exchanged. So I emulated a band switching, manual band switching, uh, like this. I issue a command and it switches the band. Okay. I go back to automatic band switch mode. Um, I send the controller the uh, band switching mode command and also update the uh, the LCD accordingly. Uh, so I can just switch any band or go back to automatic mode. And I can also switch the antenna port. Um, and fan speed, if you like, as well. And I can also capture the, um, the display updates, the data coming from the internal controller. So um, my controller is capturing it and keeping up to date. So I can display whatever it has captured. Um, I'm not uh, recording everything that's going on. Um, there are a few extra things I want to capture, but I haven't done that. Um, but I can always query the control, uh, my controller and see the internal state. Um, this is human readable format and if I automate this using my uh, software, I'd rather use much shorter format um, and parse it into uh, parse it in using the software I write. Anyway, this is a convenient way of uh, monitoring, remotely monitoring the the status of amplifier. So that's it. Um, it's still in an, the early stage, but eventually I'll finish it up and incorporate into my uh, automated setup. Thanks for watching. 73.